Hey there, how are you? I am a big fan of model-driven apps. I love how they cut to the chase and focus on data. But some of us say model-driven apps can be a bit bland. So, in this video, I will show you 5 tips to help you spice them up a bit. Choice columns are great for categories of all sorts and they really help filter data. On the visual side, you can add some color to your choices and this will help your users better identify categories in a view. And it's really simple to do also. For this one, you still need to go into classic mode. Select the table you want and then controls. Add control and look for the power apps grid control. Don't forget to enable it for the different form factors. And then you get a few properties you can manage Look for Enable Option Set Colors. Here it is. S click on this uh, little pencil here and select this or set this to Yes. Save your changes. Publish. And you can now close this one. And back in the Maker Studio, go to your choice columns so you can select colors for the different choices. In this case, we're looking for status reason. And let's select a somewhat yellow color for pending. Let's go on a greener side for approved and something more reddish uh, for rejected. Try to select soft colors, okay? They will work better. Save this. And we can now go and see how how our view looks. Let's refresh. And you now have these nice colors in your choice uh, columns and they look really good. When you start to build solutions, you probably will start to create custom tables. And while standard tables have their own personalized icon, custom tables all get the same kind of ugly icon. But you can choose an icon you like and make your menu look a lot better. Go to your Maker Studio, select the table you want, go into Properties, and then click Advanced Option. Click new image web resource and choose an image. Find one. Here it is. Give it a name. Expense icon and also a logical name. And don't forget to enable it for mobile. Save. Save again. Let's see how it looks. And a big dollar sign right there. A nice touch to your model-driven and Dynamics 365 apps is adding your company logo. Instead of showing Power Apps or Dynamics 365, 
you can brand your app. First, go to the Maker Studio and add a web resource so you can be sure it will sit in your solution. Just click New, Web Resource, choose your file, give it a name, logo, logo, and enable it for mobile and save. After this, go into personalization or advanced settings, customizations and themes. There's a default theme published, make a clone of it and then edit the clone you have just created. Here in the logo field, look for the image you have just uh, created. If you have trouble finding it, uh, look for your publisher prefix. Uh, okay, we want this one. and publish the theme and let's take a look and there you have it a nice logo there of your company one thing that can make the user experience really bad is the related flyout menu Take a look at this. This solution is for submitting expenses and those expenses can be associated with an account. Why am I seeing so many options here? This makes it really hard to find what I need. Let's make this way better. Go to your maker portal and open the form you want to work with. Click on Related and let's hide everything that doesn't fit in this solution. Just select it and hide. Select, hide. So many options. And finally, publish your form and let's see how it looks. Do a refresh here. So much better. One way to better the user experience is to use quick create forms when possible. Let's see an example. I am in the associated view of expenses while looking at an account. If I want to add a new expense, it will take me to the expense main form, which forces me to leave the account record I am working with. Now, let's enable We Create Forms for expenses and create the form itself. Go into the Maker Studio and uh, in the table properties of expense, go to advanced options and enable leverage quick create form if available. Then we need to create the form itself. So let's add a new form. We create form and add the fields um, we want. 
Let's go with uh, name, date, and expense type, and um, amount, count, and go here, and um, description, and go here. Okay, don't need these labels, item and save and pub having done that uh, you should also uh, make sure the form is added to the app so edit the app and check in the forms if it is there it is let's publish this also and now let's go back to our app want this let's do a refresh also back into the account expenses and now when I add a new expense, the quick create form is there in the right side pane and the record I'm working with is still in the back. Better user experience, better app. Five tips that can make your apps better. Please let me know in the comments what you think about these ones and I hope to see you soon.